Okay, actors, yeah, they may get top billing, but it's stagecraft that literally creates the scene from the set painting to the prop building, stage lighting and more. Arts Umbrella is pulling back the curtain and wants kids to learn how to do it themselves. Well, with us today is Alan Brody. Alan's an instructor and the manager of Arts Umbrella's stagecraft program. Hi there, welcome. Hi, thank you. So you've had experience right across the continent with this kind of thing. What, what are some of the sort of standout moments for you in stagecraft? Uh, well, I was a lighting designer uh, in my practice uh, in the theater for uh, three decades. Uh, the Overcoat was a significant uh, production in my history that took me from Vancouver in the early days, clear across, across the country a few times, and it played international festivals and played in the States. And so that was certainly um, a credit that, uh, you know, took me around quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I bet going to a play with <clears throat> you is a totally different experience. You would be looking at it's, completely different things than I, I would be watching the actor yeah. who's in front, who's in the spotlight. It's the worst. Okay. It's the worst because <laughs> it's, it's hard to detach from the thing that you know the best, which for me was lighting. And so um, I think the experience of somebody sitting beside me what could be pretty frustrating because I was clocking things that the average person might not see at all. Right. And being in my own openings when things go wrong, the absolute worst. Right. I've bolted from my seat more than once right. to the booth to try to right. find no, out what's going on. That's exactly. Not what I planned. Exactly. It's supposed to be over here. Yeah. So, okay, lighting, the set design, all of that kind of thing. What, what attracted you to this in the first place? Uh, I was really fortunate. I grew up in northern BC in a small town, and we happened to have the opportunity to take stagecraft in grade 11. And I had some friends who had done it before, and they got to then work in the, the local theater, the community theater. And um, I realized right away the stagecraft was this amazing blend of a technical discipline or technical disciplines and creative disciplines. And so that worked really well for my brain. You know, I was an artsy kid, but I also loved like doing things with my hands and understanding how things worked. So it was the perfect blend. And that has not changed. It's that's exactly the nature of stagecraft. Right, but what has changed since since you well, studied stagecraft at UBC? Yeah. Was it 85 to 89? 85 so to 89. We've come a long way, yeah. maybe. <laughs> so we, we have. You know, I learned hand drafting and watercolor rendering. Um, computers were just starting to make their way into the industry in terms of um, lighting databases and lighting control. And now it's all digital, all computer controlled. Students are learning computer, computer aided drafting. Um, they're using computer tools for um, creating renderings. You know, we make, we make models of sets, but we make them in a computerized environment now. We don't necessarily have to build a physical 3D model. Right. A lot has changed uh, on that side. But in terms of the fundamentals and understanding how stagecraft um, informs uh, the dramaturgy, the storytelling, that hasn't changed. And that's really what's at the heart of our program at Arts Umbrella. Well, how do you teach kids that? I mean, especially that you, you're teaching kids as young as six years old that's when right. they're coming up for, for yeah. spring break. Yeah. Um, what, what, how, how, do you, how do you explain well, that? This is as important yeah. or more important than, than the actual play we're putting on right now. Yeah, so um, we're not putting power tools in the six-year-old's hands, you know, <laughs> thankfully. thankfully. Everybody kind of wonders if that's what we're doing. Um, it's about um, starting to develop an understanding of storytelling, but through a, from a different perspective, through a different lens, you know. So how can the physical environment uh, that we place a set or place a, sorry, that we place a production inside of, mm -hmm. how does that support the storytelling? And um, it's quite amazing to see kids start to engage in the idea of um, how does the environment um, support the play? It leads to conversations around character and costume. And um, it's really, you know, it's really deeply tied to an understanding of what is the story that we're telling here? Right. Yeah. So if you're teaching these kids and they do have that, that moment of, hey, this is for me, in the yeah. same way that, yeah. that lighting attracted yeah. you way back then, what, what kinds of opportunities are there out, out there for them in the future? Well, uh, you know, there's 
work in the theater is is yep. the big one, yep. but um, work in film or television production as well. You know, we we ask the question a lot at Arts Umbrella, what is stagecraft? And um, it's, if you name um, a, a, a craft or a creative discipline, it probably has a, a place in stagecraft and backstage. And I would say anybody who is training in theater production or stagecraft, um, those skills are all transferable to special events, um, film, television. Um, it's sort of the gateway to a lot of other disciplines. Um, but there's something about starting in theater that feels quite, uh, like that feels the right, like the right place to start. I like that. Yeah. Alan, thank you for coming in. And My thanks pleasure. for shining a light <laughs> on stagecraft and, and no all of the opportunities therein. Have thank a you. great spring break and beyond. Thank you so much.